What would you do to get a piece of iPhone 5 fame? I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Let's start today's show with some crazy, shall we? There are already people in line at the New York City flagship Apple store waiting for the iPhone 5, which doesn't go on sale until Friday, September 21st. But they're not there just because of their die-hard love of Apple. Well, although many do love Apple, the handful of people who were there since Friday are publicity seekers. You see, the first guy in line is there to market a hyper-local social network app he created called Vibe. He's followed by several people who are paid to sit there for Gazelle, the electronics trading website. Gazelle is giving them a free phone for being there and wearing their shirts. There's also a founder of an online financial service hoping to promote his company. And on launch day, you can expect many more companies to be taking advantage of all the fans and media outlets that are drawn to the event. Well, they figured out how to get press. Let's just hope they figured out a way to shower. But you know, you may actually need a sleeping bag if you plan on getting an iPhone 5 on launch day. A record 2 million iPhones were pre-ordered in the first 24 hours. That's about double the first day pre-orders for the last iPhone. One analyst is estimating sales could reach 10 million within the first week. But if Samsung is more your style, the company said it plans to unveil the Galaxy S4 in February, and it will hit stores about a month later. The app Shazam is known for helping you identify songs just by listening to a few chords, but now it can identify TV shows. Once it identifies a TV show, it'll pull up the cast info, actor photos, trivia, and social network buzz about the show. Now, Shazam is in the territory of Yahoo's Into Now app, which also identifies TV shows and has a social experience along with facts. But Into Now creates screen captures that you can share, so it's still one step ahead. We got a few tech events to keep your eye on this week. On Wednesday, we'll hear about a new smartphone from LG, and it looks like HTC has a few surprises too. There are rumors of a new HTC One X Plus smartphone, but there's also buzz about HTC launching two new tablets. There could be a successor to the 7-inch flyer, which would work with the Scribe digital pen, and maybe there will also be a 10-inch tablet. Wednesday will be a busy day because that's also when Apple customers can download an upgrade to iOS 6. If if you have the iPhone 4S, this is your moment to get a taste of the turn-by-turn -turn direction, smarter Siri, and the new Passbook app. That's your Tech News Roundup for today. And before we end, I have some fun news to share. This is the 100th episode of Seen It Update. A big thanks to producers Mark Lasea, Richard Peterson, Ariel Nunez, and a big thanks to you, our viewers. We'll be back with more news tomorrow from our studios in New York. I'm Bridget Carey.